Um, the masthead is symbolic of the brand. Uh, it's large in the left corner and bold, which engages the reader. Uh, red and white are contrasting colours and they're quite vibrant, so they stand out against the other magazines. Um, the cover also features a pull quote. We can take a beating, attracts audience. Uh, it leaves the reader confused and questioning the magazine. It shows there's an exclusive interview. The central image is a mid shot um, and they're looking straight through the camera, which is direct mode of address, which engages the reader. Um, the image is of a band, Kings of Leon, and is suitable for the purpose in the audience. It represents the target audience and genre. Um, the colour palette is red, white and black, which uh, connotes rock and metal, and the darker colours represent the genre. Um, you can tell it's not going to be a pop magazine. Um, the white colour of shirt and the fact that it's open makes rock uh, makes the rock theme more prominent. The sidebar, uh, there are smaller articles on the side, um, for example the 14 page interview, insight as to what's inside. It provides extra information which engages the reader. The cover line is prominent and over the masthead, which is the first thing the readers see. Uh, they recognise Q brand, uh, links to the main image and tells consumer they're making a comeback which gains a wider audience. The psychographics um, is reformers, it tends to have an independent judgement and awareness which links to the indie bands and artists included. The demographic is C1 and C2, working class earn enough money to purchase the magazine. The primary target audience is aged uh, 20 to 40, which are more suited to slightly older generations due to the bands and artists promoted, and male due to the rock theme. The secondary target audience, female of the same age, not fully submerged in the rock genre. The anchorage of text, Kings of Leon, this time it's personal, correlates to the main image. The buzzword, personal, relates to direct address. Reader feels more connected to the band and a part of their comeback. How, um, the house style um, has the same typography and colour used throughout, more professional looking and is more recogni recognisable to the reader. Uh, there's a plug in the bottom left hand corner, corner. the barcode price and issue, November 2016 shows it's distributed monthly, reader is more likely to buy every month. Um, there are buzzwords to entice the reader as they are interesting and exciting, special and all star are important words. This makes the reader feel as though they have to find out more. The headline is bold black front in the same as the rest of the magazine. Uh, font is Gotham, which reflects the genre of rock, smaller than the masthead on the front cover and only across half of the double page spread. Means there is more space for images and attracts the audience. Um, the house style um, is the same typography used throughout for the headline and content um, subheadlines. Red and black is a recurring theme as well as um, as well as blue, which are all primary colours. It keeps with the colour palette from the cover. The central image is uh, Beck is giving a direct ad direct mode of address as he is looking through the camera, and it's a mid shot which takes up half the page and is in keeping with the rule of thirds. Um, it links to the feature article, which is a 14-page interview with him. As it's spread across two pages, there are lots of articles and pages included and shown. There are 21 under the two subheadings, which gives reader in-depth information, making it easier to find each article and the ones that interest them. Another main image is used on the right page of the two-page spread, Eminem, who's popular and a current artist to date. This shows the importance of the artist because he stars in a hip-hop history. The Q review engages the reader and gives them an insight to the music industry. It is featured in every issue of the magazine and could be one of the unique selling points. Uh, the Lure, uh, the world's biggest and best music guide, is informative information but also declarative as it's telling the reader um, making it look more like a fact and more prestige than any other music magazine of the same genre such as Mojo. There is one smaller image on the bottom left hand side of the page in black and white. It links to one of the main articles within the magazines. 
and there are two sub headlines capitalized and have the feature colors of red and blue continuing the house style comebacks of the year and also in this issue they are a part of every issue disputed <clears throat> The main image uh, challenges stereotypes of the central images in magazine spreads. It's usually a mid shot of the style with direct mode of address. This is more effective as they're making a comeback. The picture reflects what the text is about, creating music. Um, spread across the two pages, it takes up half of the entire space, which attracts the audience. And the main text is in symmetrical columns, which is aesthetically pleasing. The house style continues, the overall look is in keeping with the music theme, a uh, reel from a video camera at the bottom of the right page engages the audience as they are obviously keen in music and uh, Kings of Leon. Um, quite simple but it conforms to the colour palette and typography. Uh, there's a drop cap used to show where the beginning of new paragraph starts, uh, same font as the rest of the magazine. The purpose of the article is to promote the band to get a lot of recognition and awareness about their comeback. The reader can tell it's the main feature article as it's a double page spread with the biggest image and has a box at the top informing them it's the cover story. <clears throat> the magazine is fairly geometric with all the boxes and columns of writing, however not in a range pattern. This shows it's not an extremely full magazine and the purpose is more to entertain. The use of colours and images helps to back this up. The masthead. Uh, this is a part of the 14 page cover story about Kings of Leon, so it isn't masthead on this page. Um, there's a pull quote in the largest text over the double page spread. Um, but this isn't needed, it shows how big their comeback is going to be as they don't need a masthead on each page. Reader will consume text in one go. Uh, there's a pull quote from the band member, band member Caleb. Uh, written in white font in a black box. It stands out against the rest of the text if the majority is in black. It continues with house style. It continues the house style as the same font is used as a pull quote on the front cover. The purpose of the pull quote is to entice the reader. First thing they see on the double page spread, it's most likely um, most intriguing quote from the interview. And the use of pull quotes and images of the band shows that the narrative is an interview. The camera image strips looks like clips from the interview.